YouTube. Today I'm gonna do Love and Hip Hop um season four episode nine. Um, it starts off with Amina and her friend Nicole. They like meet up for lunch and they talk about Peter. She tells her about the studio time where Tara comes in and basically say that Peter and Tara is fucking or whatever, and she's kind of torn. She tells her how she threw the wedding ring in the trash because she was mad at him or whatever. And um, she don't want to work with him, music, with her music anymore. And she just really pissed off at Peter right now. So her friend is like, you know, are you going to divorce him? And she just started crying or whatever. And she was just like, um, I don't know what I'm going to do. And I'm sitting there like, first, you, at first, girl, you was over him, and you pissed off, and fuck him, and you throwing the ring. Now your friend is asking you about divorce. Now you want to break down and say, oh, I don't know what I want to do. Girl, he he's going to be him. So, I don't know what else to say about Amina and Tara and Peter, because I'm like, these bitches are going to keep on going back to this bullshit. And I'm sitting there like, when do love just cause so much of heartache? Like, I don't get it. Um, let me try to fix this. But yeah, I don't get it how um, girls just be like, oh, I love him so much, I can't live without him. And I'm sitting there like, bitch, why was you living before you met him? But whatever. Her friend, you know, basically call her weak. Like, you know, why are you acting weak? This is not you. You need to get your shit together and figure out what the fuck you're going to do. So then we have Tar. I mean, not Tar, um, Tahiri. Who? Tahiri makes you gay. I'm just saying, like, Everybody know I got a babe, and I'm sorry. Like, if her ass is wrong, a lot of people need to go to her doctor. I'm just saying. Because that girl was twerking, and that's all the camera was on. So, that's all you could see was just ass, ass. She needs to be in everybody ass video, twerking videos. I'm just saying. To hear it, that's where you need to go make your money at. I know you don't want to be looked at a video hoe, but shit, every time you don't love hip-hop, they focus on your ass. So, I'm like, just get paid for it. Um, so she had the dance, um, little dance class with her sisters. Um, her and Lexi worked things out, so they back cool. And now she had, she's showing her little sister. Um, yeah. So they talking about Joe's, um, how he been acting, how he want her back, how he acted at the fashion show, and how he acted at the dinner with, um, at his mom's dinner. And she just basically, like, she over Joe. Her sisters is just over Joe, because they feel like, how many times is he going to say this? How many times are you going to keep going back and dealing with this shit? And that's the same thing I'm saying. I like to hear it. Of all the girls on the show, I like to hear it. But I just be like, girl, if you say you strong and you don't want him, please, by the end of this damn season, you don't go back to him. Because I like the strong to hear it. I don't like these weak bitches that keep running back. But I'm like, all y'all storyline is the fucking same. That y'all don't know what y'all gonna do. And I'm sitting there like, when do a man just have so much hold over a person's heart? I'm the bitch. I'm sorry. I'm the bitch. If we break up, we broke up. There's no getting back together four or five times. Now, depending on what you do, we might get back together one more time but after that if we break up again i know where the fuck i stand and i don't go back to exes and then because i'm like what are we gonna do reminisce on the shit that you put me through like no i mm -mm, i'm not with that shit so i don't get where these girls just feel like they have to be with them they can't move on they still young they don't have no ties where they don't have no kids with these motherfuckers what's the problem because amina don't have no kids with peter and to hear don't have no kids with um joe so i don't get it and erica don't have no kids with rich so i really don't get this shit um peter and tara meet up he just basically want her, want the key to the house. He don't want to be locked out. He want to be able to see the fucking kids when he want to. She was like, Carl, I'll unlock the door. Then she tells him how her and the kids are moving. And all of a sudden, he was like, oh, we moving in together. We're going to get, we can get a house together. And I'm sitting there like, you trying to see what you can get with these. This is, this is Peter. Peter says, things to see how far he can go in the conversation with these women and then when it don't go his way then he shifts like but bitch i don't want you anyway he was basically telling her like i want to move in with you and then she like what about your wife and he feel like okay i'm gonna still have both of y'all 
And he feel like if I'm being honest to say I'm going to still be with both of y'all, then I can have a key to your house and come live with you and still be fucking and married to her. I don't get it. Um, but, yeah, he want both of them. Um, he talking about she jumps up and, like, basically walks off like she tired of his bullshit and all this stuff. So, he um, tell her he give her a month to think about it. I'm like... This is where y'all women give these motherfuckers this power to say this type of shit that he would give you a month, regardless if it was for the cameras or not. You let him get away with saying that type of shit. That's all I'm saying. Um, Tara then goes on an audition for Yandy's play, movie, whatever. The thing she she told her she had a role for her or whatever. Yandy, you know, she do every damn thing. So she um have an audition with these two twin boys. Um. It looked it okay, I guess. When she explained that she was playing the drunk girl, then I understood what she was doing. But I'm like, okay, I can see her as an actress in a little independent film. I don't see her in no major roles. But independent, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. She ain't an ugly chick. So, hey, I can even see her, like, in something and being, like, not the main role, but somebody's home girl in a movie. I can see that. Um, Erica and Sin, they go to the studio. And Erica wants to play the track for her that Rich got, um, gave her. So they plan the track, you know, she likes it or whatever. And then Erica's kind of like, this is her time to tell Sin about the kiss. So they talking, and she was like, well, you know, I was at the studio, and you know, Rich was telling me everything I wanted to hear, and all this kind of stuff, and we kissed. And I mean, she said it like... Hey, how, like she talking to our friend, and I'm sitting there like, this is not your friend, it's your girlfriend. Did you remember? And Sin just instantly got pissed off. She was just like, oh, my heart just dropped. I felt bad for Sin because regardless of a lot of people saying this is a fake relationship or, you know, whatever, I think Sin is really in this relationship. Erica is the one playing mind fucking games with this girl, and I really felt bad for her. And I'm sitting there like, this is not going to end well. This is not going to end well with Sin. And I'm like, Sin is going to be one of them fatal fucking girlfriends that's going to beat the shit out of you, Erica. You keep playing with her. I'm just saying. Um, So she tells her about the kiss. She's getting pissed off. You know, Erica like, oh, it didn't mean nothing. I'm not perfect. I'm like, girl, boo, you would have got hit in the face. They always say boys can't hit girls, but they never say girls can't get hit girls. I would have drugged that bitch all around up at that studio. I'm just saying, no, I don't think people should be in a domestic situation, but I just feel like, Erica, the way you pop off, you should have got popped on. I'm just saying. Um, it seemed like Sin wanted to hit her, because you know the Sin looked like she was about to take off her shoes, and Erica stopped her. Erica, no, that was an ass whooping she was going to get. Um, but Sin just really was going off. She's really, really hurt. She was asking um, Erica. She confused Erica like, no, I want you. She started crying. Sin was like, you need to choose. You need to, if you're going to fuck with me, you can't be fucking with him. As she's saying this, Rich walks in. I'm like, oh, this is about to go left. So he walks in. She just started popping off again. Sin just started popping off again. And he over there looking like a deer caught in headlights because he don't know what the fuck is going on. All he said is this girl popping off. So he started popping back off on her. You know, and I understand him popping back off. But then I'm like, Rich, remember, homeboy, you kissed her girl. So that may be why she's upset. You kissed her girl. Then she brought it up. And he looked like, oh, shit, she know. But then he's still popping off. He talking about this is my money, wop, wop, wop. But I'm sitting there like, boy, wasn't you just saying the same shit to Erica that she can't be popping off? Why the fuck are you popping off on this girl? Come on now. But, you know, he was talking about how he lended Erica to Sin. And I'm sitting there like, this is why she keep popping off. Because you keep having these side little punk ass comments and not thinking this girl going to say nothing. Then just, Rich, you just showed me you was a punk bitch too. Because the way you was calling her bitches and popping off and jumping up at her, it shows that you would hit a fucking girl. And, uh uh So... And I'm sorry, people, yes, people be like, okay, girls shouldn't pop off on dudes or whatever, but I'm sitting there like, he be popping off like, regardless if she would have popped off or not, he would have got up in her face. Even the way he talks to Erica, the way he he just blurts out bitch to, about girls, you can just tell he's very, very disrespectful. So, um, you know, he telling her to get out, he then... 
Erica's like, well, give me five minutes, give me five minutes, and then he's still talking shit. She was like, you know, you disrespectful. She telling Rich, I mean, yeah, Erica telling Rich he was disrespectful. So once he seen that Erica was taking Sin's side, he was like, well, you can get your ass out too. So then Sin leaves because she's really, really pissed off. Then Erica go back and talk to Rich. She like, you know, I need to run after her because she fights for me what I want you to do for me. Erica want both of these motherfuckers to fight for her. And it's not working. He, both of them about to be over your motherfucking ass playing these stupid ass games. And I'm like, why are you worried about him? And then he pisses me off because every time he get mad, he throw up. He gave her this song. He could take this song. Bitch move. Straight bitch move. Only thing on about that whole scene, I was like, okay, Erica got on a bomb ass dress. That's the only thing I got off that whole scene. And I was like, a titty gonna pop out. That's all. Um, Saigon and Erica, Jean, the, and the baby, they at his house. This is going to be really, really fast. He asked her to move in. She like, um, you know, that's a big ass step. You need to meet my daddy first. I'm sitting there like, girl, don't do it. This fool is bipolar. Next week, he going to pop off in your ass. When you say no, he going to cuss your ass out. Then I'm sitting there like, all of a sudden, why is this baby just doing hell of a talking? First, the baby didn't do no motherfucking talking. Now, all of a sudden, he in your house and y'all back cool. This baby over there running his goddamn mouth. She told you, stupid ass, that the baby need to get to know you before the baby start talking, you stupid ass. I'm just saying. Y'all know I don't like him, so I'm going to move right along. And then I'm still wait a minute, before I move along, how do you want so much of a family with your son and want to be around him? What about your daughter? Why you ain't trying to work shit out with your daughter? Like, what's up with that relationship? Just asking, just asking. Um, anyway, K. Michelle at the studios, you know, and um, Peter coming in. She just laughing because she know this is about to be some bullshit. Um, they talk about Tara. I like K. Michelle because... I like her on here because she get real sound, good advice. She ain't about that drama. She ain't about the bullshit so far. So I'm liking her on here better than I like her on um, ATL. This is the K. Michelle I like because I was like, this is the one I like from her music. Um, she kind of gives him some good advice. And she tells him, like, um, what do you... Because first she was like, what are you waiting on Jesus or whatever? That was funny. And then he was talking about he don't know what he wants to do. What do you, what should he do? And he she was just basically telling him, you need to fucking figure out what you're going to do. Ain't nobody going to fucking wait for your motherfucking ass. Um, If you want Tara, if you want to meet it, whoever you want, you need to go hard for whoever you fucking want. Basically, that's what it is. He walks out. That was it. Um, Tahiri and Joe meet up for lunch. They basically laughing, happy. She tell him she happy. She was talking to her sisters. She asked him about his family. Um, he wants to be back with her. She is over there like, I'm cool. He was like, I've been chilling alone. I ain't been doing shit. Because she asked him, have you been in a strip club? He was like, I've been cool. Um, she just really want to be friends with him. And Joe not trying to hear that shit. So then we have Amina and Peter. They at the rooftop. He wants to do something special for her. Trying to take Kay's advice. So this is the one he's going to fight for since Tara locked the fucking doors and changed the locks and all. Since he met up with Tara and she don't want to be with his motherfucking ass. Now he's going to go to Amina and try to work shit out with Amina. And since she dumb and confused and fucked up, he was like, okay, I want to work shit out. I want to show everybody that I'm with you. He had her on his rooftop. He made her look over and it was this thing, this little screen that says, um, I love you, Miss Panky. And then there was pictures of them too, the rings and yada, yada, yada. And I'm sitting there like, okay, this is a cool ass date. But I'm like, bitch, he only doing this because the other bitch don't want him. If Tara called him as soon as y'all got off that rooftop, he was going to go fuck Tara. So I, this is why that date just don't mean shit to me. Um, they kiss. She happy. She going to go back and fuck him. Whatever. Um... Erica go to the jeweler and she wants to go get a little sorry little piece for Sin because she fucked up. So she get her some earrings. Sin comes in. She shows Sin earrings. Sin like, okay, they cute, but I ain't fucking with you. So she ended up talking Sin into taking the earrings. But like I said, Sin like, right now I need my space. I ain't fucking with you. What you did was fucked up. I, I, I don't know if I can trust you right now. So boo bye. Gotta go. She leaves. Um, Joe and his dad, they meet up, they talk, and Joe basically telling his dad how he wants to propose to, um, to Harry. His daddy's like, what the fuck? Like, his daddy happy for him, but he like, hold on, make sure that's what you want, because last time I saw you and you came to my house, you had three fucking girls over there. So, make sure this is what you want. I'm happy for y'all. I like to hear it. She's a cool chick. So, he was like, I'm gonna do what I gotta do. He's gonna propose to her, I guess. 
whatever. I'm not, I hope she say no because I hope she just know this is some bullshit. I'm just saying, whatever. And if they do, that mean that we're going to have to see about their wedding next season and then they divorce the next season after that. I don't know. He's going to be cheating on her. I don't know. It's just not going to end well. Just know that. Um, Erica and she at the dance studio. It ends off like that. She's at the dance studio. Um, she's working on her little dance routine so she can perform her song. Since she like, she can't be fucking with Rich. She can't wait on him. She gotta do what she gotta do. So she there. Rich walk in. He pissed off because somebody called him about him paying for the studio time. And he like, if I'm gonna be paying for this shit, let me go see what the shit is about. He like, Erica don't know the business side of it. She just booking shit. All this kind of stuff. So... After the rehearsal, she like, what are you doing here? He like, what the fuck you mean I'm doing here? This is my money. This is what I'm doing here. So they kind of argue over sin. He calling her bitches. She was talking about how she, he's disrespectful to sin. He like, fuck that bitch. I don't know that bitch. Still calling her bitches. And I'm sitting there like, this is why she's pissed off. Then he like, they just going back and fucking forth. And he just jumps up like, you don't run shit, you don't run shit, and you can get out, and she walks out. And that was the end of Love and Hip Hop, um, New York, season 6, episode 9. Um, it was, it was an okay episode, wasn't all that, but it was an okay episode. I'm waiting on Love and Hip Hop, New York, and Scotty from Mr. Still Standing, go check him out. He, um, was saying that they're coming back in April, and I'm like, okay, here from months pass by so we can get up to this shit, because... This shit is draining. This shit is really draining to see dumb women do dumb shit. Um, like I said, this is my review. Make sure you check me out on everything on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+. Um, I do everything by the ghetto view. T-H-A, not T-H-E. Check me out. Talk to me. I'll talk to you back. Check out my girl Ashley Miller, 1987. Check out my girl Nate Bessa. She also does loving hip-hop reviews. So check her out. Check out my cousin Mike B., um, for all you guys that's over there in the Midwest, East Coast, everybody that's going through this weather that's crazy, that's in the negatives, please be safe. Um, I, I just really keep looking at my timeline like, oh, I hope I don't hear about no deaths with this weather because this shit is crazy. Um, make sure you tell my girl Ashley Miller, um, happy birthday on tomorrow. She will... I don't know how old she will be, but she in her 20s. So just tell her happy birthday. It don't matter how old she will be. My birthday will be on Thursday. I will be back here to do a review. Regardless of my birthday or not, I'm going to back do a review. Might be a little intoxicated, but I'm doing my review anyway. So, um, yeah, if you're in the Vegas area, come party with me on Friday at the Hookah Palace. I'll be partying there Friday night to celebrate. So come party with me. All right, peace.